Hey folks, Shan here from uh, Ursa Major Outfitters. Uh, just uh, going over a few tips uh, I want to share with uh, with anyone. For uh, I hear a lot of guys getting they'll get bears in, and then they'll have trouble trying to get the bears out in the daylight or getting the bigger bears out in the daylight. Uh, one thing we'll do uh, when we go into a new area to bait, we'll we'll start off maybe five gallon bucket and. Uh, Put that out and, and with the trail camera and see if we can get any bears in the area first off I mean with it, you gotta get feet on the ground just go to an area find those bears Once you get bears coming and, and they show up on camera then we'll move to a barrel and uh, What we use this one's a two barrel system, but we have the uh, barrel. This is all strapped to the tree So they can't drag the barrel off into the woods somewhere where they feel safe uh, We cut the hole and what it does turn around here our tree stands are back in that uh, big spruce tree back in there. We set it up for bow range. Uh, what this does with the hole in the barrel forces the bear to reach in, and when he turns and reaches, now it's opened up his vitals for us for a nice, nice uh, bow shot. So uh, the other barrel, usually we'll put some of our other scrap stuff into. Uh, we, we've experimented a little bit this year with some lobster shells. Uh, usually don't like stink baits just for the fact that we're usually sitting downwind and the and the smell comes to us all the time. The bears like it, but uh, the hunters don't really care for the smell, so we try to stick to a lot of uh, sweet baits and uh, bread baits and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, not to get into baiting, but uh, for what we use for bait, one thing uh, what we do, turn around here some, is when we start off, uh, the beginning of the year, like I say, when you got some bears coming, we'll, we'll only go down what we call a window load, just, just to the bottom end of this window, which is about halfway up this 55 gallon barrel. So we'll bring it up to about there until we get a lot of bears coming and we'll put a grease pad out front of the barrel here uh, we just dumped uh, from use for our fryer grease fryer oil They'll, the bears will track that out which will attract other bears you'll get a lot of raccoons and ravens and crows and stuff as well but uh, the more attention you can draw to this barrel from other bears in the area the better because you want all the bears in this area coming to this barrel so once we start getting the that many bears coming we'll go to uh, this is early season, way before the season starts, so we, we would fill that barrel as much as we can stuff in that barrel uh, probably every four or five days. And, and if you get enough bears in four or five days, that barrel will be empty. I just threw a couple things in here now. Uh, getting ready to rebate this one. So now the season's come on. We've got a bunch of bears coming to the site. We've got uh, probably had at least half a dozen bears, different bears coming to the site. The bigger bears are coming in the middle of the night, so we want to bring them bears out in the daylight. So what happens is, the younger bears know the only way they're going to get any bait at all, because the big bears will chase them off, is they got to come earlier. they got to get here before the, the big bears. So when we're sitting in stands, that's what happens. You're going to see a lot of those juvenile bears coming in, you know, later in the afternoon, a few hours before dark. They know once it comes dark, those big bears are coming. But that's good, because what happens is, we get those little bears in, feeding that, eating that bait up before the big bears come, then the big bears, by the time they get there, it's all gone. So we want those bigger bears to know that the only way they're going to get bait is they got to get there earlier in the day. So if we're filling the barrel again, the little bear's only going to eat so much, and there's still lots of bait left for the big bear to come in, and he's going to come in the middle of the night, and he's going to keep eating. So what we want to do once the season starts, we're going to go back to just that window load, or maybe even a little less. So this time of year, it means more frequent baiting. Uh, a lot of times I'll be baiting every day, every site, and we run uh, up to, you know, nine nine sites a year. This year we cut back a little bit. Uh, we're trying to uh, keep a, a bait's hard thing to come by. So anyway, we what we'll do is I'll go back to baiting pretty well every day. Uh, whiskey here, something coming. So we'll go back to baiting every day, maybe every other day. Uh, I usually do it right now. It's about uh, 9 in the morning on Sunday. Uh, we come out here in the morning, bait in the morning, and that'll bring those bears out earlier in the day. Those bigger bears are going to come out in the daylight because that's the only way they're going to get any bait because there's only enough bait there to feed one or two bears. So he's got to come earlier in the day. So anyway, that's our tip for today. So uh, if you have any questions, just uh, give me a shout any time. Uh, be happy to help, but uh, say this is just one uh, trick of the trade that uh, that seems to work for us for, for getting those bears out earlier.